good, y'all. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I'm going to jump right into it. I want to speak on allowing God to till your heart. Allowing God to till your heart. For those of you who don't know what tilling is, it's whenever, you know, somebody like a farmer, he or she prepares their ground um, in order for it to be suitable for them to uh, plant the seed and the seed produce the fruit that it's supposed to. But if that ground is not tilled, like, for instance, like if you, I used to live in Alaska, so if I was to go up there and just dig into the ground with all that ice and put a seed in it, and cover it up, it's not going to produce any type of fruit because uh, because of the condition of the ground, because of the condition of the soil. It's not going to it's not going to produce anything because it doesn't have the right posture, you know, and the same thing goes for our hearts. You know, like there's a lot that God wants to do in our lives. You know, like God is not just up there, you know, just hating us and not want to bless us. You know, like there's a lot that he wants to do in us. But we have to make the decision to allow him to come in and till away at our hearts, you know, like get, like get rid of that hate. Um, and like sometimes it's a process. Sometimes it's a process. And like that process is, is very uncomfortable at times. It's not going to be easy to deal with jealousy, hate, lust, whatever it is. Like whatever it is, it's blocking that seed that God is trying to plant. You know, whatever it is that's blocking that seed, you know, it has to be dealt with. Like, it has to come up. Like, you have to you have to allow God to prepare your ground, hence your heart, for what he wants to plant in you. You know, because if 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 hate hate can't be there, bitterness can't be there, you know what I'm saying? Like, when your heart is filled with lust, like, even if he tried to plant that seed, like, it's, like it's going to be equivalent to if I try to plant a seed, in the ground in Alaska in the wintertime, like, it's not going to produce no fruit. Like, it'll be a waste. It'll be a waste of that seed, you know. So um, I just want to encourage y'all, you know, if you're in a season right now where it seems like uh, things are tough um, and God is, and, like, you feel like God is really doing what I just said, tilling away at your heart, like, allow that process, you know, to go through. Like, stick with that process, you know, because, like, there is a lot that he wants to do in your life, you know what I'm saying? Like there's people that he want to bring, opportunities, but you but you will mistreat those opportunities. You know, like you won't handle those people like you're supposed to, because your heart, your heart's posture, <clears throat> is not in the condition that it should be in. You know, and again, like when we think about like a farmer tilling away, like they're digging up in the ground. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like they you know, it's 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 a it's a it's a messy process, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about, like, if your heart was that ground and, you know, and, and, and whatever tools that they're using, I don't know much about farming, but, like, whatever tools that they're using, you know, to till that ground, you know, is not going to it's not gonna feel good. Like, if that was being done in your heart, that's what it's going to feel like because it's a lot that has to be uprooted in your heart in order for God to plant the things that he desires to plant. So that you can produce good fruit, so that you, so that he can bring opportunities your way, so that he can bring that wife you've been praying for, or that husband you've been praying for your way. Like your heart, like God is not gonna send you unprepared. You know what I'm saying? He's not gonna send you anywhere. And 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 when he's in it, he's gonna make sure that whatever he's sending you is ready. Also, you have to be ready, and and he's gonna make sure that whatever he's sending you is ready. And a big part of being ready is. Allowing him to till at your heart. Like the longer you uh, uh, prolong that process, you just holding up your own blessing. Like a lot of us think to ourselves, oh, like, you know, I really wish God would hurry up and bless me with whatever it is that you've been wanting. And whatever it is that you've been wanting, like it may be God's will for you to have that. But 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 again, God is not going to God is not going to send you prematurely and he's not going to send a blessing and he's not going to give a blessing to you prematurely either. You know. Um, if I was to buy my four-year-old son a car right now, like something that would be suitable for him in the future, like would absolutely be very dangerous for him now because he doesn't know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like he, like he hasn't gotten to that point where he's developed, you know, yet. So, I mean, like it's the same way with our hearts, man. Like God is not going to send you anything prematurely and like he's not going to send you prematurely either you know so allow god to till away at your heart and it is a hard process it's a messy process whenever you're dealing with 
whatever it is, whether it be hatred, lust, bitterness, whatever, like you fill in the blank, like whatever it is that you're dealing with, um, allow God to just till away at your heart because he really wants to bless you. Like he really wants to bring people opportunities. But if your heart doesn't have the right posture, it's not going to produce any fruit. I don't care what opportunities come your way. So stick with the process, allow God to till away at your heart so that whatever he wants, whatever seed that he wants to plant, it will produce good fruit. Allow God to till your heart. This kingdom talk.